Okay, so the question came up about the proper wiring of the ignition coil on a 240Z. And what I did was I removed the wires from the coil. So there's a black with white stripe, green with white stripe. Trust me, these used to be white. <clears throat> and another wire that's black with white stripe. Now, there's two black with white stripes. How do you tell which one goes to the coil and which one should go to the ballast resistor? Now, keep in mind, I've done a Protronics ignition. I've deleted the ballast resistor, so I don't have one to show. But it's easy to tell, easy to find. All you need to do is, again, a voltmeter or an uh, ohm meter in this case. You can put it at low setting. You can even put it on the continuity setting. You take one lead and connect it to the green with white wire. If the car is wired properly, this goes through the tack and to one of the black with white wires. So we'll take the other probe. Check. No sound. No nothing. Go to the other black with white wire, put in the probe. You can hear the tone. You can see the meter dropping down to one ohm. So, this is the wire that goes to the positive on the coil. Fortunately, I just have a little lead there. I can plug it in. In this case, I did the protronics. I don't have ballast resistor anymore. How am I connecting the other two wires together? Because I need to do a jumper between the green and white and the black and white. Well, I made a handy jumper here. Want to get that covered up nicely. Find my other black with white wire. Plug it in. So the Protronics is always getting its uh, the 12 volts that it likes. And the tachometer still works. Now, on a, a points distributor, you would have a black wire that would go from the coil negative over to the points, or the wiring for the points. In this case, I don't have it because I, I have the Protronics. So the black wire from the Protronics is hooked to coil negative, and the red wire is hooked to coil positive. There's also an alternate method for looking for which black and white uh, wire is connected to the on position of the key switch. I've disconnected the wires again. So I got the two black with whites sitting there. And this time I put the meter on voltage. It's a 20 volt setting. If you have an auto arranging meter, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's on DC volts. I have one lead connected to the shock tower as a ground. I'll use the red probe to look for voltage on the black with white wire when the key is in the on position. So I check here. And it's reading just a small voltage point. This is just basically noise there. It wouldn't be enough for the ignition. I check the other black with white wire here. And I'm seeing full voltage over 12 volts. So we're good to go here. And I know I connect that one to the green with white wire or to the ballast resistor, depending on however I have my car configured. And the other uh, white, black with white wire gets connected to the coil. 